Um, this is the video review of the Beretta 92 FS, um, <coughs> uh, spring pistol. Um, I just picked this up. Um, I got it for Christmas, actually. Um, uh, uh, it was about 30 bucks. Uh, came in this pretty nice packaging. It's clamshell. Um, clamshell is usually, um, packages cheap things, but surprisingly, this isn't, this isn't totally bad. This is pretty good, actually. One of the best spring sidearms you're going to find. So, um, the gun. It's mostly constructed of ABS plastic. Um, it's got a nice weight to it, though. It's a spring pistol, the most durable. Uh, I don't see it breaking on you. Or maybe unless you slam it against the concrete or something like that, but it's good. It has a working hammer. Um, as you can see. Mm. Uh, uh, the FPS is about 230. It says 307 on the packaging, but when I look closer, the little dial on it, it says they cleaned it with, they cleaned it with .2, I mean, um, point, point .12 BBs. Uh, that's 307. And then the .2 BBs, which I'm going to be using, is 230. Um, uh, magazine holds 12 BBs. Uh, it's pretty accurate. Um, just got it for Christmas. As I said, pretty sturdy gun. The only downside is, like, if you can hear that. I don't, I've yet to find out what that is, but I don't know. It's pretty nice. Uh, as I said, one of the best sidearms you're going to find. Spring sidearms, anyway. Uh, if you're more professional, I'd recommend getting a gas blowback. Um, it's a little unrealistic. Uh, mainly because of the safety and some of the trademarks on the other side. Um, the trademarks on this side fully licensed like the real thing. Better trademarks on that side. Um, it says Petro, um, Pe Pe Petro Beretta. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his first name. Um, Model 92 FS, caliber 9, uh, 9mm. It's got the Beretta trademark. Uh, it's really nice. Ooh. Um, very nice. Um, the sights are the standard pistol sights. It's kind of got an indent to make it easier to see. Oh, it's got a white dot in the front, but sadly, um, no double right dots. So, it's kind of a downer. Um, it's okay. Um, yes. Um, that's my little brother. There's a Wii game. I have a PS3, so it's awesome. I just got Assassin's Creed 2 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Um, my first two games. It's pretty cool. Um, anyway, losing subject. Let me see if you can get a view of that wind. That's freaking crazy. On let the focus. It's really windy outside right now. If you if you see, look how it's December 25th. There's no snow at all out there, and we're in Ohio. That's pretty sad. All the rain melted it. There's like no snow whatsoever. Um, anyway, yeah. Uh, let it focus. Get into the light. Okay. Um, I'm using my crappy old camera, the blue one, the Kodak Easy Share. Um, the newer one's dead right now, so. Uh, um, uh, I kind of don't like this trigger. Um, I, I was expecting, um, less of it, because just looking at it, it looks like you hate it. But, um, I prefer something more along the lines of a 1911, the short, um, stubby trigger pull. Um, but this is actually not that disappointing. I'm just not a big fan of, um, Beretta's. Uh, it, they look amazingly beautiful, but the trigger is something a downer, is a downside. Uh, but it's amazing, though, don't get me wrong. Um, as I said before, the safety is a dud. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't have them right there. Uh, it doesn't move, non-functional. Um, you see right there. Hello? Hello? What? Did you see my games? What games? What games? My games that you give me. Uh, no. What? No.
Okay, I'm sorry. That was my little brother, the one that owns the Wii. He just got a DSi for Christmas. <laughs> um, so, um, working hammer. I haven't shot this yet, but I've heard it's really accurate. So, trigger pulls nice and easy. Hold on. Then it's pretty loud. It's very loud, actually. Um, so, um, overall, I'd recommend it. Um, this is one of the best spring sidearms you're going to find yet again. Uh, I'm just gawking of how amazing this thing is. Um, so, I'd recommend getting it, definitely, uh, for only 30 bucks. It's amazing. It's like a model. Um, it's a good model gun, especially from this side, because it's fully trademarked. Then on here, it has the super KSC thing and warning, so. And the dead safety, so. You best be showing it off right there, so. It's pretty nice. Um, the mag holds 12 BBs. And it's pretty, it's, they're not the best mag I've used, because you have to, this little spring guide, you have to take down there. Get it right there. hilarious. Don't get him on. Don't give me crap about it. Don't flame on him like he's only eight. <laughs> um, so right here, um, you leave that and then you take the mag spring down there and then you load them. But the bad thing is, if you still have this pressed down in the mag, um, the, it just shoots out BBs, which is really bad. Um, but I can manage it. Then, um, let me see if I can... kind of a pain, then it catches right there, and then when you're done loading, you press this button. You can hear it. So, very nice. Um, I'd recommend getting it. I'll do a shooting test soon. I've heard amazing things about this gun's performance, uh, how accurate and the range it is and stuff. So, um, uh, oh yeah, I also changed my background. This wooden desk with the light, um, if you guys like it, then let me know, and maybe this will be my, like, studio. Um, so, um, comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, I give this gun, uh, for, um, looks in construction, anyway, a good 8 out of 10. Uh, maybe a 9, just because it looks so beautiful. Um, so, comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, bye.